This is a walkthrough video of 1870 Summerwood. We're located just off Bahia Vista and Cattlemen. And so this is a quiet little subdivision. It's a great little little neighborhood here. Uh, this home is located right at the end of the cul-de-sac. It's, it's about 20 years old. Um, one owner the whole time. And so it needs some work, but not terribly much. It's a big open floor plan with uh, the ceiling, the living room, dining room, and kitchen all open with 10-foot ceilings. Starting here in the kitchen, we have a breakfast nook with lots of windows, has 3M film on there. It's a, you know, it's a nice eat-in kitchen. Has white appliances for mica top, uh, a few little issues, a uh, plumbing leak behind the dishwasher, um, other issues, just, you know, broken stove, that kind of stuff. But... Um, all in all, easy enough to fix that, that kind of stuff. The roof is 20 years old. It is original and is at the end of its life. Uh, there is a ceramic tile, 16-inch ceramic tile that runs throughout with, that, with the exception of the bedrooms. Um, you know, Custom-fit window up there against the wall. We've got ceiling fans. We've got little nooks up here for plants. Uh, a lot of cool little architectural features. As I walk in through the living room, uh, there's French doors that go out to the pool. The pool currently has a leak, and it has, not, it has yet to be diagnosed, but we do know that it stops right there. So the leak could either be in the light, behind the light, or it could be in the plumbing um, for the drain. But we have a cage here. The screens are torn, but it is uh, a little pressure washing could make, could make this cage. Pressure washing and screen repair could make this cage an outdoor area quite nice. Um, the covered lanai area is approximately 13, 14 by 12, maybe 10. I walk into the master bedroom and it has a carpet. Um, there is a door that goes out to the lanai area. The master bath has cultured marble top, tiled tub, which is nice. A um, little glass block here in the, in the shower. The shower actually has really nice tile that goes all the way up with uh, a cool shower floor and little seat. So I do like, I do, and I like the mirror in there. That's actually pretty cool. Um, you know, the bathroom's in, in good shape and could use a little paint and touch up, but other than that, it's, it's pretty good. The carpet needs to be replaced in the bedroom. Um, going in the other two bedrooms, we have uh, one bedroom currently being used as storage, but it's a good size room. Probably 11 by 12. Um, a lot of stuff in here, just never been used as a bedroom. We have a linen closet, then the guest bath. The guest bath has a, you know, a simple cultured marble top. It has tile, nice looking tile, that decent shape. Um, all the windows are 20 years old. And this is the second guest bedroom. The second be guest bedroom is also about 12 by 13 with a closet. So pretty simple three bedroom, two bath, split plan arrangement. Uh, the garage is a two car garage with a mud room and laundry room right here. So um, washer and dryer, sink, actually a good size with cabinetry in the laundry room. And then the two car garage, um, all blocked. This, this one was built by Reinhardt Homes. The AC is 10 years old and the water heater is brand new. So that's it from Summerwood. I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International, 941-366-0000. Thanks for watching.